hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to hide or unhide specific fields in the list view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add button in the list view plus you can add some icons in the list view please check link is given in description plus if you want to learn more about odoo with the specific topic wise you can just go to in the playlist and here you can see different topic wise playlist also available with the different and the real task cases and if you're following this playlist then you don't need to follow any other playlist related odoo because this is the main playlist here and apart from this you can see here there is a two different playlist also available like python tips and edit related tips in case you stuck anywhere and if you need any help or support you can go to an about page and you can shoot your query to this email address so let's back to our main topic like how we can hide or unhide specific fields in the list view so i'm going to in the student profile and here you can see in our last session we already discussed like how you can add button plus the images here that link is also given in the description and let's say by uh, i want to display some fields by default hide and based on the user requirement they can visible from the front end side so how is it possible so yes like odoo provides one attribute in the field level especially in the list view it will work based on the provided value so how it works let's see let me go to in editor here let me open that view.xml file of the student and let me open the tree view here you can see this is the tree view and let me go to here like let's say the roll number by default you can see uh, this roll number is visible here all right so i want to hide that specific roll number field here so what i have to do like odoo provides one attribute the name is optional and here we have to provide like hide that's it and let me go to in terminal restart plus upgrade the module let me minimize this one and refresh the page now you can see once reload finish you can see this field also invisible in the list view all right so you can see here the roll number field invisible here but you can see here like how to visible this field in the front end side so simply you can see here i already zoom out but you can see here the last uh, you can see this is the header part right this is the table header part here you can see these three dots here if you click here you can see list of defined fields also available and here you have to like user can visible or invisible the specific fields here all right once the user will check it will visible in the list view all right so like this way it will work here plus one more thing is like uh, optional provides two attributes uh, two values here so here we use hide attribute uh, hide value right but you want to also add that field here in the configurable part i mean here it is also possible like using the optional and show by default this field will, or this field so in the list view but here some cases it won't be work so that is the main disadvantage here so you can see by default it should be uh, it should be visible here because we already provide over there as a show option and trying to refresh the page all right by default it's hide you can see this field also visible here but once i click here it's again visible there is a main drawback here is like once you refresh the page it means the new cycle also execute right but here like somehow it's not working so you can see it's right now it's visible why because we already provided here true option if i click here 
the roll number it's visible here again if I click here I mean the refresh the page you can see once the refresh finish it it will be, you can see here like it will visible both fields ID and the roll number and if you see here in the editor like option we already provide show and here we provide hide so by default like this field should be visible in the list view and this by default once the preview load this field automatically hide but unfortunately based on the user act action here it's hide and unhide so like this way you can use this field based on your requirement and uh, like by default if you have any requirement to invisible some fields and based on the user action they can just go to here in this three dot and they can visible based on the requirement they can easily hide and show this option so due to that like Odoo provides this option so I hope you understood like how this hide and unhide fields is working here if you have any doubt related this one please comment below and our next session should be like uh, if you don't want to visible this button or any of the uh, specific button here it is also possible so this discussion we will see in our next session and I hope you enjoyed this session and in, in case you have any doubt related this hide and unhide session please comment below and see you in next session